So what stands in the way of positive organizational scholarship? Why isn't it implemented more frequently? Well, unfortunately, there are quite a few reasons and things that stand in the way. One can be the bureaucracy of the organization. Sometimes bureaucracies favor the individual contribution over the collective good. If it's an individual contribution, it may not even be a conscious decision of the organization. It's just one that's evolved over time through the reward systems. It could also be resistance to change. Sometimes resistance to change comes from staff, your staff. Sometimes it comes from your peers. Sometimes it comes from elsewhere in the organization and other divisions or silos inside the organization. If you're the CEO, you've got more control over making this change than if you're not the CEO. It could also come from the economic circumstance that the corporation faces. If the corporation's in a crisis mode, that's going to be extraordinarily difficult to change. Or if there are time constraints to just volume of work. Or the corporation could be adapting to changes in the macro economy, like the gig economy where there's more and more freelance labor, or they're low-cost sourcing to other geographies and you're sorting through those details. Or you're dealing with a high-tech change of all of the data, whether it's the speed, the variety, and the sources of data that are coming in that are affecting the business overall. These are all things that can affect it. In addition, you could have the need for control be something that's pervasive in the organization. They're not used to empowerment. If that's the case, it's going to be very difficult to get through that change and to convince people to empower and let people go. Set up the constructs, how they can operate within, and then allow them to operate within those constructs. Or it can simply be lack of knowledge. That they haven't been exposed to this discipline, to these thoughts. They, haven't, they don't know about it. They haven't created this, as Robert Quinn calls it, the new mental map. So they're used to a particular way of doing business, but they aren't familiar with this positive lens. To me, understanding all of the impediments is as important as understanding the ingredients of positive organizational behavior. Because if we understand the impediments, what we can do is we can make changes. We can begin to dismantle what it is that's causing the conflict and be able to sort out what's the best approach and how do we begin to implement positive organizational scholarship. Because with positive organizational scholarship, what happens in the organization is growth. It's about optimizing the business, of optimizing each individual's contribution so that the business itself can be optimized and we can gain momentum to that state where the business itself is achieving its optimal state. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.